I'm Chuck Swartz, a Reader and Swartz Architects, and my partner is Beth Reader. We've been doing our work in uh, Virginia, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, all the way down to North Carolina. And we've been practicing for now 25 years. A lot of the clients that uh, come to us are folks that live in metropolitan areas, and they would like to have a place uh, in the country. It's really about uh, trying to connect to to the sun and the mountains and the views. And what we try to do is make places that people 20 or 50 or 100 years from now would consider the home place that you would never ever sell or that everybody remembers coming to. And we try to make buildings that actually have sold to them. For our residential projects out in the country, almost all the projects have propane. It really does allow our clients to be in a place that is re relatively remote or totally remote, but actually have a, all the things you want in life. You can be in the middle of nowhere and still have, uh, turn on a, a, a gas fireplace, you turn on the music. If you have a good bottle of wine, you're good to go. So this house is situated right along the uh, South Fork of the Shenandoah River in an area that's um, known as the Seven Bends. The idea here is to live at the river and be able to be in the river, to canoe, to kayak, to just stick your feet in it, and to use the river as a, maybe a place to uh, sort of meditate in an informal way. The, the idea that this is where friends or family would always sort of intuitively come to gather. Our clients that want to live in the country want to have a wonderful place, but they don't want to be wasteful. A conventional water heater keeps the water hot all the time. Where a tankless water heater, basically, the water gets a, a breather, it gets a rest, and, and basically it only heats the water when you need it. What we try to do is make our houses so that they always are able to function no matter what. And so propane is probably the best way to sort of link together all of these uh, sorts of systems, whether it's with generators, whether it's with cooking, whether it's with furnaces or fire. It's, it's a way to actually make a house that's remote have a higher level of uh, durability, safety, and utility. You can heat a home, you can have uh, gas fireplaces, you could cook the way people like to cook, all with propane without actually sacrificing much of anything. You can actually make a sort of vision of where you want to live without lowering all your standards to happen. Propane is sort of one of the ways or, and probably the easiest and most profound way to actually do that. 